Uh, hello guys and uh, welcome to my new video. In this video we are going to connect to the internet and uh, we are going to download a simple web page uh, from the background uh, thread. So as you can see here in our layout we have uh, two edit texts and one button. So the first edit text uh, is a place where we enter our URL and uh, when we click button we are going to trigger the uh, actual connection. And uh, in the second edit text, we're going to get the source code of our uh, web page as a result. Okay, so the first thing we need to add is a permission to access the internet. So go ahead on the Android manifest file and just add this uh, one code of permission. Alright, so uh, after that, uh, head over to uh, main activity. And uh, here we are going to uh, create uh, edit text and uh, button objects. Alright, and uh, we are going to find the ID of those uh, UI elements inside our onCreate method. And uh, after that we are going to add the uh, onClick listener for our button. And uh, this onClick listener will uh, trigger uh, the old functionality which will be uh, created in uh, another new class. Okay. So uh, we are going to create a new Java class. Uh, and uh, we're going to extend uh, that class with the uh, async task because uh, async task will provide us all the functionality needed to uh, execute our uh, our code in the background thread so uh, uh, background thread is uh, almost is uh, commonly used uh, when you have a long uh, a long uh, waiting uh, functionality for example connecting to the internet working with the databases and so on so we are going to extend our class with async task and we need to pass three parameters here. So the first parameter is basically, uh, in this case, will be a website URL. So it will be a type of string. Uh, the second parameter is a progress, uh, we, uh, which will be used to update the UI. Uh, but uh, in this case, uh, we are not going to use that. So I'm just going to type uh, void. And the last parameter is a result. So it will be again in a string value. Okay. And we need to implement uh, one method here, which is uh, doing background. Okay. And just click OK. And the uh, doing background method will uh, have all the functionality needed to connect to the internet and uh, uh, receive a source code from the website. And again, uh, click Control O so you can uh, add a few more uh, methods here if you want. Uh, we're going to add the uh, on post execute method here and uh, this method uh, will uh, oh sorry i added on pre execute uh, i will add on post execute uh, because this method is basically going to update the uh, ui uh, when uh, all the background task is uh, completed so uh, on post execute basically is uh, executing a code in a ui thread as opposite uh, to a background thread so in our main activity we are going to um, create a new string for a website URL and uh, we are going to store our uh, text from the uh, edit text here for the URL. Alright. And uh, the next thing we are going to create a constructor of course for our class and we are going to pass uh, context as a parameter. So let's create a context here on the top of that and let's uh, add that uh, in our constructor as well okay um, so the next thing we're going to initialize our class inside the uh, on click listener and we're going to pass uh, context parameter here which is uh, in this case main activity uh, dot this okay and uh, next we're going to use uh, this uh, object to uh, call a method execute and we are going to pass a string which is a website URL and that's uh, basically a first parameter uh, inside our uh, new uh, Java class so basically we're passing here a string which is a website URL and we are going to uh, get uh, that uh, URL and store in a simple string value which is called my website URL and we're going to get that string uh, from a string array so uh, that means we can pass uh, multiple uh, string values uh, from this execute method. 
like uh, for example another uh, URL so we can uh, have uh, multiple threads running away and um, in this case we're just going to use a uh, one string so uh, that's it and the next thing we are going to um, store our uh, string website into a uh, URL uh, class object okay and we're going to add the try and catch block so our application cannot crash and we're going to create a new class HTTP uh, URL connection so basically we're going to uh, connect our uh, URL to the internet and we're going to open a connection so we have a warning here so uh, which means we need to add, uh, add a catch clause uh, sorry I missed clicked so uh, let's uh, add a catch clause instead all right and um, and uh, now let's start by uh, using some of the methods of uh, our HTTP URL class okay so we're going to set the read timeout and uh, request timeout or connection timeout uh, and we're going to set the request method which is a get method in this case and uh, lastly we're going to uh, use a connect method so we can actually connect to the website so in order to um, uh, get the uh, source code of our web page uh, we need to create an uh, input stream uh, object so we are going to do that on top of our try block here so create uh, input stream class okay now uh, down below we are going to um, we are going to store inside our input stream um, so just use a get input stream uh, method of our connection and store that inside input stream so we are going to use a buffer uh, buffer the reader and uh, we are going to uh, in the parameter we are going to initialize new input stream reader and we are going to pass our input stream here and after that uh, uh, we are going to use a string builder so we can um, store each and every line of uh, our source code uh, inside our string builder so down below we are going to create one more string which is line and down below we are going to add while loop so um, this loop will basically say um, will basically store uh, uh, each and every line inside our line string so uh, basically uh, a while loop is telling us if uh, there are uh, more lines of codes to read inside our uh, source code of a web page then we're going to store that line of code inside our uh, inside our uh, string builder like this with uh, of course a new line uh, command inside the brackets here okay and uh, after that uh, we're going to close uh, the input stream and uh, of course our uh, reader which is buffered reader so remember to close those two because uh, elsewise you might uh, have a memory leak and of course we're going to return a string value so we're going to use a two string method of uh, string builder and basically uh, we're going to pass our um, uh, builder string to our own post execute method, method here and uh, now you'll see how that uh, actually works uh, so um, now basically on post execute uh, we're going to receive our uh, return uh, from our doing background uh, method and we're going to update our uh, UI inside our main activity layout okay so let's create another uh, object of uh, of one more class which is alert dialog dot builder so we're going to create one uh, alert dialog when the uh, when the download is uh, finished okay so here uh, we're going to say um, we're going to initialize this class okay and we're going to pass a con pass a context as a parameter of course because this uh, will be used inside our main activity we're going to set a title to uh, maybe congratulations all right and uh, we're going to set a message to something like uh, 
website successfully downloaded or something like that you can set everything you want okay and uh, we're going to use a set positive button so this will be a OK button and uh, it will basically dismiss this uh, alert dialog okay uh, basically you don't need to type anything inside uh, this on-click listener and uh, on uh, below that you will just uh, use create and show methods here like just I did and uh, at least uh, at the end we're going to set our uh, result uh, edit text to uh, to show our result so in order to do that we need to set our uh, edit text to uh, static so uh, we need to head over to our main activity to do that okay inside main activity just uh, add a static word uh, here for edit text so we can access our edit text uh, easily just by calling a main activity so just uh, select the result and set text to um, s type s because that's the uh, result we uh, got from our doing background method here and uh, that's pretty much it so i think uh, we're ready now to to start our application and uh, check it out how it works okay uh, remember you can use uh, many other methods here inside the uh, async task but for now we're just going to use uh, those two methods okay and uh, now let's uh, type here uh, uh, website URL for example let's uh, type Google and uh, you need to type this uh, HTTPS uh, if you don't type uh, URL uh, exactly like I did uh, you might get, uh, get uh, error or uh, your code might not work so as you can see we got uh, alert dialog message and uh, we got uh, source code of our Google main page and that's pretty amazing you can do uh, many stuff with uh, uh, with uh, async task so uh, uh, okay so that was it for uh, this video uh, if you enjoyed watching it please uh, like it and uh, see you in the next video